Hi everyone, Heather here. And if you notice the little uh, thumbnail picture that went along with this video, you'll notice that I've got a picture from me in the 80s when I was modeling. And I also have a picture of me now at 62 years old. And a lot of people say that I look youthful and I do have some routines and some secrets. So I thought to myself, why not introduce them? So let me see if I can kind of strike that pose over there. <laughs> anyway, um, hey, I'm not going to look like I did back uh, 30 years ago, but um, let's see if we can get a little, shave a few years off of our, our age. Let's go. Now, just before I get into the top 10 of my kind of beauty secrets or tips uh, for trying to stay youthful anyway, I just want to remind you, I'm not getting into wear your sunscreen, don't smoke, drink lots of water, you know, all of those regular things. Basically what I'm doing is I'm giving you a checkup from the neck up uh, using a few products. So let's start with the number one. Uh, the number one product that I use I have a nighttime routine. I don't care how tired I am, I have a nighttime routine. And um, I'm using here a collagen cream. And again, I've mentioned to you before that I will have uh, a comment in the first comment and it'll link back to my blog and it'll name this product. Uh, I don't wanna get into naming them on the video for trademark reality. Anyway, let's just go into this. So here is this lovely collagen cream that I use. And what I do every night, I've been using a collagen cream, well, probably since I was 18, but it's never too late to start. And um, I'm going to put it, kind of just dab it around my eyes. Uh, because I really don't like, to, well, I don't want to get those eye wrinkles. So it's doing a pretty good job so far as far as keeping the wrinkles at bay. Now, the other thing that I do, and of course I would do the other eye, um, I'm finding that a lot of us women, I'm 62, so I'm starting to get these wrinkles on my neck and I don't like them and I'm not wearing turtlenecks all the time. And even if you have wrinkles, girls, don't wear turtlenecks all the time you're beautiful and uh, so I just put a little bit of cream here on those little wrinkles and a little bit down here and now you're saying to yourself okay you like you only did your eyes and what about the rest of you and the rest of your face I'm going to show that as the number two uh, secret but also what I do is I have like a body cream that I also put on um, my arms and my legs and I do this about two hours before I go to sleep and I want to keep all that skin kind of nice and supple too. Okay, so the number two secret is coconut oil. Oh my God, you know what? I only discovered this maybe about uh, eight months ago, something like this. And now it is in my beauty routine every single evening. Well, maybe not every single evening because it goes on really, really oily. So if I really don't have about two hours to let it seep in, I'm just using that collagen cream all over. So that's a little trick for you. But this stuff, it's, it's um, what is it anyway? It's organic raw coconut oil. And uh, it's hot, like, duh. It's, when it's cold, when it's less than um, 76 degrees out, it's a solid thing. So how are we gonna get out? I'm not gonna put my fingers in because I don't wanna damage it. And this jar, it's super, super cheap. And it's going to last me for, well, that's eight months. So maybe a year and a half. So I use a little cotton swab and I take it up and put it on my palm. Now, since I should be 98 degrees, it starts to liquefy. Can you guys see that? How it's liquefying on my hand? And now I have this oil, <laughs> just really oily thing. But anyway, so I'm just going to start putting it. Now, Bill, I'm going to show everybody out there, all you subscribers get to see my real wrinkles here. And you can see I have some here in my forehead. So that's the stuff that I want to really really get this oil into. This is sun damage too, because I remember I was about 19 years old. I went uh, to Florida and I just, like my forehead actually just got thick and, and swollen and when it retracted, I had all these wrinkles. So sun is really a bad, bad thing. So what else am I going to do? See these little, 
wrinkles, you know, at our age, over 60, they start coming maybe even, you know, earlier. And, but I want to make sure that I'm treating them. So I put the oil on here. I, I really look kind of scary when this is all done. And anyway, um, on my nose, I think when my nose gets dry, so I, I like this. And so I've done this. And then these little guys, you know, these, they call them marionette lines, like, no, I don't want to be a puppet. I want to look pretty, so <laughs> I'm going to go right in there. Then another thing that I found out was that I'm still using that same amount of oil. I'm going to put them under here. Now these are my jowls. And let me just show you something here. I'm going to do a little exercise now. I'm going to push these babies up. Now apparently these are muscles, and because this is so oily it's also seeping in so much i'm also going to do a little bit here and a little bit here because these are the things and move them upwards these are the things that we really have to take care of now i also have a little bit so this is also very good for those age spots and uh, my age spots seem to be clearing up with this so i'm putting a little bit on here just like guys like doesn't it drive you crazy that guys have such great skin? Well, they're kind of shaving and looking after it every day. So let's do that as well. But um, there we go. Now, am I going to go to bed and put my head on my pillow like this? Because it's going to get all greasy? No, no, no. <laughs> I'm going to try to do this about two hours before I go to bed. So uh, that's a really cool secret. I just love this. And, and I'll tell you something, after two hours, it's like seeped into your skin and you look fabulous. Okay, so I put my foundation on and I've covered up some of those little spots and that sort of thing. And hey, by the way, if you want to know uh, how I cover those dark spots and other things that I've got going on here, um, I will put a video up there somewhere where you can link to it. And uh, yeah, there's lots of really helpful hints there. But my number three secret to looking youthful is using a good mascara. Now, this mascara that I have here it's been my go-to for years and years and years. I did put another mascara on one of my videos because it was very super thick. I think it was for a smoky eye or something like this. But this is my everyday mascara. And uh, again, I'll link it to the blog. Um, it is, why is it my favorite mascara, Heather? Like what's going on here? because it comes off like a dream. It goes on nicely. You have to put a few coats of it, but when I am taking off my eye makeup, literally this thing just comes right off and it doesn't smudge under my eyes during the day or anything. It's just incredible. So uh, a lot of makeup artists use this as well. So I'm going to show you, I don't have any mascara on right now, and I'm going to show you how, um, beautifully and defined that this goes on to your eyelashes. Now we would definitely do a few more, I even I do put them on the bottom here. And look, I'm not pumping the <laughs> mascara. A lot of people told me don't pump the mascara, it gets air in it and dries it out. So there you go. Um, but then I'll put another layer on. Now you're probably saying to yourself, okay, so it's easy off, what's the big deal about that? Well, the big deal is that as we age, we're losing some eyelashes. We're losing some eye, you're probably noticing the eyebrows more than the eyelashes, but uh, if we're losing them, do we really wanna be rubbing on with uh, oils and all kinds of things to get off our mascara? And, and you know, sometimes like, especially the waterproof stuff, it takes hours. So I'm loving this mascara. It comes off like a dream and because I'm not pushing and pulling on my eyelashes or my eyes, it's helping me to uh, maybe stay away from some of those wrinkles, keep a few eyelashes in and look a lot more youthful. Okay, so number four, let's give ourselves the optical illusion of a brow, brow lift, eye lift, whatever you want to call it. 
by working with our brows. Now I do have my um, eyebrow pencil and everything done. I've drawn in my eyebrow and just for the sake of time I did put um, a link up here somewhere uh, where you can see how I did that because I don't want this thing running on for like two hours or whatever anyway. So um, yeah so as you can see I'm just going to sort of look here. I've given myself a very nice arc here and I've used a little spoolie to brush those hairs upwards. Um, over here on this side I don't even have some hairs in there so I filled them in with a pencil and also um, one of the tricks that I like to teach people is I can use either an eye wax to brush the hairs upwards or another thing is a clear mascara. It's looking kind of yucky now because I put it on my eyebrows so much but and just sort of with a clear mascara brush those eyebrows up and give yourself an instant eye lift. So the fifth trick is use highlighter but please use it sparingly. You know you don't want to be oh I'm gonna look youthful so you put the sparkle all over your face it just it just doesn't work. So what I've done is I've put a little bit on the end of a brush here, a brush like this, and I'm just going to do a little swoosh here and a little swoosh here and I have a little bit on a little tiny weeny brush here and I like to put that right in the middle of the two eyes. Do you see that? It just adds a little sparkle, a little little uh, life to our sometimes tired eyes. So my sixth secret, trying to say that five times, <laughs> my sixth secret is um, the swoosh in my eye. And uh, as I aged, my big eyes turned downturned and droopy and hooded and but with the magic of makeup and uh, I was using some little um, uh, brushes like this with eyeshadow, some eyeliner and hey I've got a very popular video on hooded eyes and how I applied the makeup. I'll put it up there somewhere and at this point I want to just say a heartfelt thank you to all of my subscribers like you're making my videos popular and I really from the bottom of my heart I really appreciate that and uh, my response is I'm going to make more videos for you so thank you so much but let's get back to the swoosh. So anyway I do a very subtle kind of swoosh up here and what it does is it's giving my eyes a lift. Uh, they're pointing upwards, they're making them bigger and uh, there goes those downturned droopy eyes. They look a lot younger. All right as most of you know I love my anti-shine cream. Instead of putting on all this extra powder on the shines and uh, carrying a compact with you and the more powder you put on the more you're drying out your skin the more it's going into the creases of your wrinkles and it's actually making you look older and probably a little bit more like a pancake type makeup but this is it's so incredible. It's a cream and um, I'm under these hot lights here so I do have a little bit of shine and you can probably see under my eyes here there's a little bit of shine so watch this. Shine? No shine. Isn't that crazy? Like look at that. Shine? No shine. Now I got the little sparkle in there that I put on earlier but this stuff is nose just amazing so anti-shine cream all the way all right so the number eight secret is keep the makeup natural you know I, maybe you're going to a party or something and you want to wear a little bit more red lipstick or smoky eye okay I get that but for every day Try to keep your, your makeup as natural as possible and uh, let's just sort of cut out those great big dark lines with that you use with lip liner around the lips that after you've had a cup of coffee it's just like dark lines. Um, trying to look like we have a tan by 
you know, slathering on bronzer all over the time, the place. And, oh, I, I you know what? I did a, a video on uh, what I think are the 10 biggest mistakes, especially mature women make with makeup. And I'm no authority on this. It's just my own opinion. But, uh, you know, if you walk into a room and I'm really noticing your makeup, you probably did it wrong. So I'm just going to suggest that keep it natural, keep it light and keep that glow going. All right, so the number nine secret, and you're going to think this one's a little bit odd, is don't color your hair. What? I'm just a believer that a lot of women, mature women, they start getting in the gray and the silver and that sort of thing, and they just keep coloring and coloring their hair. So they've got black hair, but after like, even a few days, you're seeing that little skunk line show up. You're seeing it with redheads. You're seeing it with people with brown hair. And yes, it's a process. I know that, but I've done it. And um, my hair now is silver. I do put a few blonde streaks in it, you know, just to keep the overall kind of look. But it's so soft and, and um, I don't know. I just really like it. And if you think, well, I don't know about that. I don't know if that's going to work. Think of guys. If you see a guy in his 60s and he's dyed his hair jet black, his wrinkles and everything really show up. But if you see that guy with a kind of salt and pepper hair and he's in his 60s, he just looks so it just looks cool. So the same sort of thing applies for us. And um, the other thing we have to do too with our hair is we have to make sure that we're using better products on it. I use um, a shampoo that's really, I, you can get it online, but it's just fabulous. The conditioner, uh, the treatments that I use on my hair, and I really kind of make sure that uh, I'm not using a detergent that's just drying them out because our hair does get a little bit more wiry and we really really have to treat it so uh, yeah and if you're want to kind of go through this motion it's going to be a bit difficult I know that as you're sort of fading out a darkness but get the help of a really good colorist and once you get past the first process they might even have to bleach you a little bit um, it's just smooth sailing after that all right, so my number 10 and final, this is probably the best one yet, is smile more. This is so easy to do, but you know what? We get caught up in the, in the news of the day or we get caught up in worrying about something or the toxic people or whatever. And we just got to let a lot of that go. We've just got to let less of that into our lives and more gratitude and smiling and love and happiness and all that sort of thing. And I've got a note over my computer and it says, smile more and it just reminds me that um, you know it, it's something that we really need to do and it makes you look youthful because it puts the sparkle back into your eyes and the twinkle in your eyes and and it puffs up your cheeks and it uh, <laughs> just makes you look so much more youthful and it's a better way to spend most of your day for sure just smiling and another one who makes me smile a lot is little Hurricane. You're looking a little shaggy today, Hurricane. <laughs> but, oh, hey, if you have a pet, you know how special it is and, and how they do make you smile. And another thing that makes me smile a lot are you, the subscribers. And uh, I'm just so grateful for you all. And if you want to join our community, there's a little button down there. But... Uh, Nope, Bill and I, and even Little Hurricane, we've decided that we're going to keep on making videos for you. Um, you've just been so supportive, and I thank you so much for that. And uh, in the meantime, keep on feeling youthful <laughs> and smiling more and keep it awesome. Everyone's invited to subscribe and join us on our videos.